Hi friends, how are you? I am Atik back again with a new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to install Magento in your uh, AWS environment using LightServe. So Magento is a very popular e-commerce software. A lot of people use this for their e-commerce web shop stores and a lot of developers use Magento because it's secure, it's robust and it's highly scalable. So uh, without taking wasting much time, so let's get started. First, I'm going to go to LightCell. I will I will use LightCell to install Magento. Um, LightCell is very easy, and uh, it's uh, very comfortable for people who don't have any sorts of uh, server knowledge and uh, don't want to mess with servers. So uh, I'm in the LightCell console page. So I'm now going to create a new instance for Magento. Um, I have uh, pre-configured my zones. Uh, you can change it based on your own requirements. I have chosen Ireland. Then I, I want to choose Linux. Uh, I want to choose App plus OS both. Then I want to choose Magento 2.3.0. Then I'm going to go to uh, key pair section here. I have used, I have already created a key pair on previously, which I am going to use. If you are first time, then you need to create a new key pair and download that key pair and keep it in a safe place for future use. Remember, the key pairs are given only once, so you don't have that option to download it again. Then, uh, next option is choose instance plan. So, here we have a lot of options with uh, memory, processing power, storage. So you can choose from a variety of options here for this tutorial purpose I'm going to select a very uh, low cost minimal setup because there is no real traffic over there but for production environment you can choose a variety of options uh, from five US dollars per month to 40 even there's bigger options here so uh, it's up to you based on your uh, requirement you can choose so let's stick to the basics and start with this. Then I'm going to add a key value pair. So uh, I just do that for every project. Project Magento. And uh, that's it. You see, there's very little options I have to give, and my instance is now it's ready to be started. So um, it's it's very interesting to see that things are uh, as easy as a uh, like a baby can do. So you, you do few you do some few clicks, and then wow, your your Magento site is up and running. Everything is set up over there properly in traditional way you have to do the do this at least two or three hours to set up your server to install apache install php you don't have to download those composers and then set up those files and do all of those installations but here it's all with just few clicks and just waiting one or two minutes it's all done so that's the beauty beauty of automation and that's the beauty of AWS so uh, my Magento site is now up and running so let's go over there there are some options to connect I'm going to try to uh, connect using my uh, SSH so I copy the public IP uh, I want to just add here that this public IP is not static initially the IP that you receive it's not static so uh, what we prefer to do is to assign a static IP here. So I go to networking section and then I create a static IP here. And static IP means this will stay as long as uh, your project is there. For non-static IP, if you reboot the server, your IP will be renewed to a new one, which is not uh, ideal for a production environment in a production environment you want to have a static IP because you want to point your a record you want to point your CNAME records and everything you need to give access to your developers 
so everything depends on an IP address okay this is my fixed IP now I'm going to copy this IP and connect from shell User will be Bitnami and then I paste the IP address. Yes, I'm going to connect. Okay, great. So uh, I've connected. It's an Ubuntu 16. Point, um, let's see, 16.4 LTS. So um, let's do the LS. Just one more thing. Let me refresh the process here again. It takes some time, so um, let's wait here. So now you can see uh, a folder here, Bitnami application password. So my Bitnami application setup has been completed and the password is created. So let's let's see what's there. Okay, this is my application password. That means this is my Magento admin panel password. So let's copy this. I have copied that and then I am going to go to the, um, sorry, I need to go to the admin panel. I need to go to the IP. Awesome. This is my uh, Magento site. It's up and running. It's using the Luma theme, but basically, as as you can see, it's up and running. And uh, I don't have I, I did didn't do anything at all. I just do some few clicks, and it's there. It's the latest version. I don't have to worry about the updating about this. So uh, just go to admin panel. I just received the password from Vietnami. So let's continue over there. copy the password now and then uh, the default username the default username that is created from the bitnami is user the password is just i received from shell so i go over there and let's see yes i can log into the system so here is an option to change the passwords i will do that later on so i just see uh, my account name here i can go to the dashboard i can actually um, go to let's say catalog categories I have to do that probably just a minute. Let's uh, let's do this. I copy the password here uh, and I paste the new password. And then I just save everything.
probably I try to see if I can add other things here as well. My password has been changed, so now I can uh, browse the whole admin panel and uh, I can add new products, I can add new catalogs, I can add new items into the system and everything I can do from this interface. Awesome. I go to products and add a new product. Show. Is taxable, and then I just save as a default. Save. Wow! So you can see here, I just created a new product so you can do it as well and uh, add reconfigure it the whole admin panel as you want so it's it's I just going to show you the default setup here and you can do it whatever you want and uh, you can install plugins for your payment gateway you can install themes a lot of things you can do here if you have the setup over there it removes the lot of configurations on the server end because Magento is heavy and quite robust and it requires heavy technical knowledge to set up over there. But with the help of LightCell, we, we all can uh, avoid those and just do a Magento setup with one clicks. So thank you for watching this video. I hope this will help you to set up Magento in, for your webshop. And I, uh, I invite you to see my other videos as well. Thank you. Have a nice day.